Greetings, unsettled souls. Oh, I know you hear it, don't you? It's the Domini of the Day. I want to remind you, if you just found the show, you can get a hold of me. Get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com. Uh, once again, the correct views at hotmail.com. I hope you're finding this on Opera News. If you're one of the two people that are on Rumble, or if you've found this through YouTube, which is very likely, uh, please try to find the correct views on Opera News. That is extremely helpful when you do that. Dumb deal of the day. A White House in chaos struggles to keep Biden on time. No, no. The blah, 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 blah. A lot of this isn't important. I need to get to the dumdy of this. You guys wanted a dumdy. I'm sure most of you have already heard about the fact that Joe Biden was four, three, five hours late. I don't know. Kept the media waiting. And then he showed up yammering about what is, quote, a $5 trillion liberal wish list that will increase greater inflation and transform our country into the worst, in the worst way possible, according to my minority leader, Kevin McCarthy. No, 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 no. Let's go to Jen Saki. I'm sorry, Jen Saki's uh, uh, wonderful statement here. I, I, I kind of read it. I know this was even this article wasn't even going to make the show, and then I was like, "Oh my God! I found the dumdy of the day." Vice President Kamala Harris, who previously said she had a key role in Biden's decision to withdraw from Afghanistan, has also managed to stay relatively silent on the crisis. Embarking on her first official visit to South, A South Asia this week, and uh, Jen Psaki had an out-of-office email message for one week starting the same day that Kamala collapsed. Here it comes. Get, this is, get ready for the dumdy. The president never shies away from taking questions. White House Communications Director Kate. I'm sorry, I said it was Saki. I'm sorry, Saki. I said it was Saki. White House Communications Director Kate Bellingfield insisted during Friday's appearance on MSNBC. Okay, my guess is if anybody has any intelligence at all that she'll have no credibility whatsoever for the rest of her life after that statement. The president never shies away from taking questions. Well, Katie, let me let you in on a little secret. You managed to say that within, what, 12 hours, 24 hours of when the man walked away from questions being shouted at him. Katie, dear, you managed to drop that beautiful bit of non-logic on everybody the same day that the White House cut the president's microphone off so that he could not answer a question regarding whether or not America would stay past August 31st deadline if American citizens needed it to happen. He didn't answer that question. He had his mic cut off never shies away from asking a question. Let me ask you, Katie dear, do you ever shy away from lying? Because that has to be the single stupidest comment that I have heard in a long time. And that's pretty impressive considering the amount of dumdies that I do. This is the image, Katie dear, that most people have of Joe Biden when people are asking questions. We didn't see this much of Donald Trump's ass in the entire eight years that he is in office that we have seen since this bonehead took office and has walked away from every question asked just since January. Katie, you don't. <laughs>